About two years ago, I got called to uh, a dinner with, uh, with uh, a, a group of guys that I've known from previous uh, development and a uh, bunch of indie devs were there and I got introduced to all the Sony guys and uh, they said we want to start working with you guys and uh, you know it was kind of like oh that's cool hey that's that's neat but then they said you know I, I, I said I wanted I don't really want to put a shooter on because the controller wasn't that good and uh, he leaned and said it's the next controller is way better so I got to go down to SF and got to touch the controller uh, and it was it was done we it was that the changes that they did were so great and their their mentality was so so different than the previous generation the Xbox and us talked for quite a while um, so much so that it just passed um, so yeah it was it's one of those one of those situations where when we got the rights back we came back said hey we want to do it um, and they said you can't ind independently do it and uh, Sony was saying you can and you know as soon as they announced uh, that they were doing indie development, I got an email, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where uh, up until uh, I got to touch the PlayStation's controller, it was one of those things where I really wanted to put it on the X-Bone, but then as soon as I touched that controller, I, it, it literally evened the playing field. The, the PlayStation group's completely different now, and it's really awesome. Xbox group's good, um, but up till now, we couldn't really do do our own thing and just bring some stuff over. But you know, I'd, I'm guessing I'll probably have a couple dev kits on my on my desk in the next couple of months, and you know, we'll see what happens with it. But right now, Blacklight PlayStation is is our is our key focus. Uh, with that group, uh, we have plenty of games. We've got Daylight. We've got uh, we just announced the Guardians of Middle Earth PC game, and so it's it's not not the one and only game we're going to be doing so I guarantee you we'll be putting stuff onto all consoles just the way we always do. There's of course going to be people that are like no I'm only going to play Bungie games or I'm only going to play Call of Duty or I'm going to only play whatever but they're missing out because it's not the exact same game and that's the great part is I think that gamers are getting smarter. Um, YouTube's allowing people to see games in a, in a much higher amount than a commercial and so, you know, I think that that's going to be the great part. But also the, I still haven't seen it, but also the, 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 the functions that PlayStation 4 is going to add is going to be really cool to see, be able to check out what my buddy's playing and watch him play and, and talk to him about it. You know, that's, that's really cool. That's, it's going to be a really interesting cycle with sharing and uh, gamers getting smarter. It comes down, it comes down to the, the with, when I'm playing, it comes down to the, the mood. Um, if I just got home from work and I want to play, like it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I want to play. And there's those different moods where I, I want to play, I want to have a beer next to me, and I want to sit on my couch and I want to look at my big ass TV. And I want to have like the house rumble when I'm shooting stuff. Or I want to play and I want to go for a high KD and I'm just crouched over my uh, mouse and keyboard like I'm a freaking vulture. You know that there's there's different there's different faces to gaming and 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 so that's why I think that there's always going to be room for consoles. There's always going to be room for PCs. There's always going to be room for mobile. And so you know people there are purists and it's purists because sure they love it so much. But I think that you know it's it's a uh, it it kind of shows a uh, small mind to it. Uh, the development on the PlayStation 4 we've actually gotten, well, we're given the task of making Unreal 3 run on the PlayStation 4. Um, that's a pretty big feat, and uh, our guys did it. And, and so, you know, that just kind of shows how flexible the, the PlayStation is and how different it was uh, than the last gen. I mean, PlayStation 3 and Unreal were definitely different to, to kind of get and, and work with. Um, and it was it was much harder than uh, than what we were experiencing now, which is really crazy. Considering we had to remake the the whole rendering pipeline to work on a on the PlayStation 4, that was that just shows that it's it's definitely being thought about. Versus, hey, let's just do crazy chipset and you know try to do some sort of weird thing. It's 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 a solid design, and it's really it's really great. And I think right now we're seeing games that are par with high-end PCs. 
And once devs learn how to, you know, tap the right systems and figure out all their ways around the, the, the hardware, games are gonna look amazing. Like the, the end of cycles always look great. And um, I think the cool thing though is like the console's so easy. I don't have to worry about any of the viruses I downloaded, you know, blowing anything up. And, and so I think that that's why like the console will always be there and the PC will always be there. And, you know, I'll always play on both. But, you know, the, the thing about it is uh, the PlayStation really, those guys really listen to a lot of the feedback. Um, I, heard, I heard stories of uh, people getting tapped years and years ago, uh, like three years ago, on what things that the devs would change. And, you know, I think a lot of people are like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. And I think almost everything was listened to. It was really cool. Um, and it's a really good, beefy piece of machinery.